Welcome to the Command Report, your number one news report for the Washington Commanders. What's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> hey, what's up? Um, take us through your offseason, I guess, what, what you've been working on and, and how you feeling. Um, just trying to get better overall, you know, bigger, faster, stronger, uh, better feet, you know, better uh, play recognition, uh, just really overall. What, what's it like stepping into a more prominent role? Um... I mean, at the end of the day, it's football, but, you know, it's more of like a leader role, you know, make sure I'm doing the right thing on the field, off the field, <clears throat> so everybody, you know, can see me and I can hopefully reflect off onto them. Have you talked to Jack at all since his comments were one of the people that took him up on that offer? At, how, how you feel about that? I mean, we, we have conversations, you know, every time I see him in the building, we talk. So, you know, we just be having little small talk conversations. Um, along those lines, did that... Were you worried that those comments would become an issue at all, or what, what did you think about that? Uh, no, I'm not really worried about anything, you know. We just really focus on football in this building. You know, we got taken care of in-house, so that's really how we're going to keep it, for real. And then for you playing the expanded role, what kind of things did you have to do differently this offseason to prepare? Did you, you know, I know you like to study. Did you study more? Did you talk to Landon about how he handled it, anything like that? Uh, yeah, I studied more, like, uh, Especially like on the iPad, you know, I study more. I look, watch a, a lot of football, you know, a lot of quarterbacks and stuff like that, just to get like a, a little advantage on our uh, opponents. This is your third year, so this is a little bit old hat, and yet this is easily your most normal off season in terms of you know no no, no pandemic restrictions, things like mm -hmm. that. What's it like just to be able to do the usual football routine and in, in, in the ways you, you're? You know, um, it's different, but I mean it's fun. We get to play more football. You're like my rookie year, we didn't have no OTAs or anything. So, you know, we got here in July. So, you know, it's fun just to uh, get with the guys before training camp. And to that end, like, what are you kind of noticing that you're able to do now, maybe just more instinctively than that year when you came in as, as a rookie? What do you kind of notice about yourself that's changed over time? Uh, I've, I've become a lot smarter, you know, a smarter football player. Uh, my awareness on the field has grew. You know, I'm seeing a lot of a lot more things I wasn't seeing my rookie year. Um, it's just really anticipation, you know, formations, emotions, you know, just not being like reactive, you know, just being more like proactive on knowing what's really finna happen. Why is it important for you guys to handle like Jack's comments in house? Because uh, the media like to take stuff and spin it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Um, in year three, do you feel more like you're a leader in the backfield now that you're kind of the experienced guy on the team? Have you, do you feel you like you've assumed that role or is it just natural? You're just calling out things to Percy or are there somebody else back there? Um, I mean, it's both. Like, it is kind of natural because it's like I'm the one on, like, on the field the most, really. So, you know, they're going to be looking at me for stuff. And then, you know, the coaches will come up to me, you know what I'm saying, tell me if I'm doing, like, a better job of being a leader and stuff like that. But, like, it's really like when you love football and like you love your team, you're going to be a leader to the guys who really, who you see, who not knowing stuff that you know, you're going to want them to get better too. You mentioned watching quarterbacks. Just are those the quarterbacks you faced last year that you're going to face this year, the best ones? Or um, it's really both. Like watching the games last year, seeing what I can do better. And then like, um, when they dropped our opponents, you know, just going and watching them a little bit too. So what do you take away from uh, sessions like that? Um, you just try to like pick up on keys, mannerisms, you know what I'm saying? Like what routes they like to throw, you know what I'm saying? Or like how to look off a route or something like that. How long does it take you to kind of hone in like a... Um, it really depends, but like, just like on how much you're studying, but it's, it, I know it's gonna take time, you know, just for it to be second nature, but uh, that's what we're working on. Two more. Other side of the ball, but Jahan Dotson, what have your first impressions been of him? Oh, uh, he's fast. He got a lot of speed. His routes look smooth. You know, he's been catching the ball. He like, you know, he looked like a real receiver. You know what I'm saying? Last one. What's it like? been like uh, reuniting with Sam, and uh, how's it been getting to know Carson? Um, it's, it's, it's been cool, you know. I like Carson, he like to take shots deep. 
you know what I'm saying, challenge us a little bit. Um, and it's just like feel good going against uh, another vet quarterback, you know, so you can pick up on stuff off of him too. Thanks for tuning in to the Command Report. Please like, share, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest Washington Commanders news.